So will having ads on your site hurt your rankings in Google and hurt your ability to rank well in Google? No, in most cases you'll be absolutely fine. But there are things you need to know and there are things you should avoid doing on your site. And the thing here is that Google is not really clear on this. It's not like you can pull up this article in Google and they'll just tell you exactly what you can do and what you cannot do. But there are some general rules and guidelines that Google worked out with the Coalition for Better Ads, which we'll come back to. So you need to think about it this way. If you're hurting the user experience to a certain degree, if you're really making it hard for the readers to access your site, and we'll come back to exactly how that can happen on your site without you knowing it or not knowing it, you will also hurt your rankings. So that's how Google looks at this. They just wanna make sure that the reader and the people on your site are getting a good user experience. And if they feel like people are having a better experience on this other site, they'll send people there instead. So I'll go over what you need to know in this video. And I just also wanna quickly say that if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, do so because I love putting out these informational videos for you where I teach you exactly how to do these websites. So one area where the ads on your site can impact your rankings in Google is when it comes to site speed. And this is something people talk a lot about. And I will say most of the fuss online about this is just, it's just not on point. People obsess over site speed these days because Google is coming out with new tools and new features in Google Search Console and Google Analytics where you can see the speed, the site speed of your site. And that's most probably because Google knows that the next 1 billion people getting online will do so on pretty slow mobiles. Well, this is not a slow one, but, but on mobiles with pretty poor internet connections. So we're talking countries without super fast internet. And of course, when they know that the many next users and customers they will have will not be able to browse as fast as most people who are online today, they have to put an emphasis on this in order for, the, for their whole business model to work and in order for them to make money from ads because they need to make sure that the ads will actually work well in these regions as well. So that's probably why Google is so obsessed with paid speed. But I will say for 90% of the times when people come to me and they're just so scared about the paid speed and so on, they're absolutely fine. You don't need to think about this if your site is loading relatively quickly. I mean, your site has to be pretty slow in order for it to impact your rankings, for sure. So there's a couple of ways we can work with this. With the Zoic ads, they have this speed tool that you can implement on your site. So it does cost a little bit of money. You typically pay between $30 or $100 per month, depending on how much traffic you have. So $100 per month would be if you had like a site with a million page views. So I guess by then you wouldn't care too much about having to spend $100 per month. But for me personally, I just, I mean, I just hate these recurring payment plans. I hate to pay for stuff on a monthly basis unless I absolutely have to. I mean, but I must say the Isoic Speed tool, it really works well. It's, they did an amazing job with this tool. I am using it across several sites. And so you can totally do that, but there's also other ways you can do this without having to pay for it. You can just install a caching plugin, go with a really fast theme, use the Astra theme that I always recommend is super, super sleek and fast. So have caching, have lazy loading on your site that actually comes pre-installed with the latest WordPress edition. So if you just upgrade your WordPress files, you'll have lazy loading, which is amazing. And also you have to work with your hosting company to make sure that they're doing what they can on their side of, because a lot of these things have to do with the hosting side of things. But I mean, if you're using Bluehost, Namecheap, whatever, just one of the bigger, cheaper hosting companies out there that are doing a serious job, you'll do just fine. But do go with a pretty big hosting company because they'll have a better setup. I mean, Bluehost is my number one recommendation. And as you grow bigger, you should definitely change to something like VPX or SiteGround or whatever. Just choose a good hosting company that will also serve quick load times as the site matures and gets bigger. And then by all means, work with the ad network that you are using. Work with the Zoic or AdFrive or MediaWine or whatever and make sure they're doing everything they can to make the site load faster. So MediaVine is built around this idea of lazy loading. So they never, they will never show the ads before the actual content loads. And it's the same thing with AdFrive. You just have to ask them to do it. Out of the box, they will not do it. I don't know what this latest update actually in WordPress. Maybe I should ask them because I, ha I do have one of the key employees from AdFrive on this channel pretty soon. But, and also with Zoic, of course, they will also be able to lazy load the ads on your site. So, you, so 
the important thing here is to understand that people just need to see the main content, as we call it, just the text of the article before they see the ads. I mean, it would be super annoying to go to the site and all you see for the first five, 10 seconds is just all the ads. You know, you need to load the most crucial stuff first and all the ad networks, of course, know this, especially if you're working with some of the better ad networks. And I always recommend you go with the Zoic, AdFrive, and MediaLine, just some of the bigger ad networks that know what they're doing. So if you do that and you work with them and you use a pretty light theme, you'll be good to go. And you can just ask them what you have to do on your site. You can also use VP Rocket. It's a paid tool. So it does cost some money on a monthly basis, but it's awesome. It's really, really good as well. So if, I mean, you can either pay for the Zoic tool or you can pay VP Rocket, or you can try and just set it up without having to pay for anything. I do different setups because I love to test things like this. I have sites with the Zoic Speed tool. I have sites where I set it up myself. I have sites where I did nothing. And I'd say across all my sites, they are all using the Astra theme. Maybe there's one or two where I haven't updated it yet. But regardless of the setup, as long as you're working with the caching and that stuff, it will load fast enough. It will not impact the user experience, at least to a level where it will interfere with your rankings and so on. And also when we're talking about load speed, just check the competition. You probably know the biggest competitors in your space. Just check their load times and look up their site on mobile screen and see how quickly everything will start appearing on the screen because that's really what it's all about. It's mainly on the mobile devices because of course the processor in these things is much smaller and cheaper than the ones in our laptops. So you just need to make sure that it works really, really well on the mobile. Also now that Google is doing all this mobile first indexing, that's actually where the battle has to be won. So now we talked about speed and that's definitely something that concerns a lot of people. I hope I could take away some of the fear and some of the many misconceptions there. Let's talk about other things you can do with ads on your site that might hurt the user experience. You need to make sure that the ads are never blocking any of the crucial content on your site. It should never go over, you can say, the edges between the design. It should never go into the sidebar or over the text and stuff like that. So you need to manually go over a lot of articles and the different templates you have on your site. Let's say you have a post template on WordPress. You have a certain way that all your articles that are published as posts will look like on your site. Just go over a few of them because they will all be formatted in the same way. And also go over all your pages. The about page is especially important and the front page of course, the category pages and any page that you have on your site where you use some special layout. If you're using Elementor, just make sure that you're not messing around with it on every single page because that'll be a nightmare when you're working with ads because the ad networks, they need to insert the ads automatically. They're not sitting on a per URL basis and figure out what's the design on this page and what's the design on this URL. They need to work with this at scale and so do you. So just make sure that you're working with only a few templates for the design side of things on your site. And also don't have unskippable ads on your site. I mean, ads that will block the site and so to speak. So this is where Google has double standards because here on YouTube, you know, we have these unskippable videos that they will play in front of the video. They're super annoying and I actually just turned them off across my whole channel here because I don't want you to have to sit and wait through a couple of ads before you can actually see the content. And I also turn off these mid content ads, you know, the ads that will actually interrupt the middle of the video. So I hope you haven't been too annoyed by that because I only turned that off recently. But you see, Google actually allow that on YouTube, but they are telling us as publishers to not do that on our site. So it's just one of these cases where Google is doing something themselves and teaching us to do something else. It's just how it is. I guess they have the power, right? But I mean, just go over your site and make sure that you don't have any pop-up ads that, that will block the content or pop under ads that will pop below the content. So when you close that tab, there'll be another tab behind it with some scammy ads. I mean, there's definitely a lot of ad networks that will still do this, but it will not work well if you want your site ranked in Google. If you have your site traffic coming from Pinterest or social traffic or just Another traffic source, maybe you have a lot of direct traffic because you're an influencer or whatever, maybe you can get away with it, but I mean, you're definitely hurting the user experience. So, but I guess that makes sense to most of us. Just take a look at your site and make sure that, that it all looks clean and looks like the other big sites. But something that can sometimes happen, even if you're working with the major ad networks, is that sometimes they will have ads slots there on your site that will interfere with the menu or 
other parts of your site. Some crucial parts, it could also be in the footer area. Sometimes they'll just implement the ads in the, in the poor way and sometimes we have to clean it up and, and work with them together to fix these things. So it's especially important on the mobile screen and also around the menu on the desktop. Just make sure that people can actually access the drop down menus if you have those. I mean, if you click on a menu and it folds down, make sure that the ads are not blocking that in any way. Funny side note, one of my older sites, many years ago, I had this ad element just below the menu at the top and it, it kind of looked like a menu. It was just a lot of Google links just placed like in on a horizontal line and people would click them, of course, because they thought they would go to content on my site and they just did amazingly well with AdSense. So, but you cannot do that anymore. Please don't, don't try any tactics like that because you'll just confuse the readers and when you start doing that, you'll either be causing some click fraud that might get you banned in Google AdSense, which is also pretty important if you're working with Ezoic or some of the other ad networks. Make sure to don't do stuff like that. Just have the ad network set up the sites for you so all the ads will be put on their site by them because they know exactly what they're doing. And also, if you do come across some weird ads on your site, from in, this can also be from some of the bigger ad networks, you know, that are flashing and they're just really annoying. Maybe you can just tell from the content on the ad itself that they are scammy. Maybe they want to send people to weird sites or it's just content that you don't feel like should be on your site. Contact your ad network because sometimes something slips through the cracks and even with the bigger ad networks, you can sometimes experience this. But it's not to a scale or a degree where it's a problem. But if you do see it, contact the ad network and just ask them manually to go in and remove those. And they will do so and they will never appear on your site again for sure. You will also find some fuss online about people disliking video ads on the site. You know, these ads that will automatically start playing and as you start scrolling, they'll typically go out in the sidebar and sit out there. So these ads are very common on AdThrive and Mediavine and also lately so it came around to feature those video ads. I think it's still in beta on Ezoic, but they work really well. And I've been telling Ezoic for quite some time now to get them on the system and they finally did and they're working really well there as well. So there's different opinions about these video ads. You need to make sure that people can actually close them again. There should be a visible X button so you can quickly shut it down. But I mean, if you make it easy for people to close the video, and just get it out of sight quickly, there's no problem with it. It's doing really well. And many times if you manage to get some good content in there that's actually engaging and it's relevant to the article people are reading, many times they will stick around and watch some of your videos. So that's the whole point. I mean, put videos on there that you know people would like to see. So it works like this. You create a video or maybe a whole playlist of smaller videos that you upload to Zoic or AdThrive or MediaWine or whatever. And then they will start playing these videos. And in many cases, they will stick to see that ad and then they'll see a little video and maybe they'll see another ad and they'll see another video. And for some people, they just get stuck there and they'll just watch these videos. And that's pretty awesome because that increases the time on site, means that people will stay on your site, but only if the videos are good and they're related to the content. So that's the thing to keep in mind here. Make sure that you're showing videos that actually make sense for the readers. Don't just show some random videos because they'll just annoy people. If you show good videos and decide if you have some good footage to show there, maybe from the YouTube channel or maybe just something that you go out and film yourself, you can really, really do well with video ads and they will not be annoying because these videos can be super helpful to the readers and they want to stick around. And as they do, of course, they'll see the video ads, which has a pretty good payout, by the way. And also the ad network will place ads around that video player. So they'll not only see the video ads, they'll also be disposed to these other display ads on your site and that can really drive up the earnings on your site. So I really, really like these video ads. You just need to work with it creatively and to do a good job about it so you're not just throwing up some bad videos there that people don't wanna watch. And something else to keep in mind, if you do want to change the theme on your site, if you wanna build a new template in Elementor or whatever, if you change the whole layout on your blog, on your site, you really need to alert your ad network about this. So reach out to Zoic or AdFrive or MediaWine or who you're working with and let them know as soon as you made those changes so they can go in and update the ad placements as well. Because if you fail to do that, if you forget to do that, 
you will have ads featured in the wrong spots that just worked well with that last or the previous design on your site and that might not work so well with the new theme that you're using now that you have a different size for the header maybe the sidebar is a little more out to the right so stuff like that so make sure that they update the ads as well and it's really quick for them to do this it just takes like an hour or two they'll just go over all the templates on the side the different layouts and make sure that everything looks just fine and also you should probably ask them before you do it because they have different guidelines for example with ad drive they like to have a certain width of the sidebar and with so that have all the guidelines for you so it, i mean it just depends on how they're setting up the ads so ask them for some general rules on how to work with the ads on your site and if you don't know what how to do this just go with the astra theme that i mentioned a lot of times it's perfect for ads it's just awesome because i mean the way it's all set up it just works so well with ads and all the ad networks they love astra so please don't disable the ads on your site or don't stay away from ads altogether because you think they will hurt your rankings or the seo on your site just work with the ad network to make sure that the user will have a good user experience on my site, I like to disable a couple of categories and you can do that with all the major, all the good ad networks. You can for sure do this with Zoe and Ad5 and so on. I like to disable everything around loans and gambling, ads around get rich quick schemes, ads that are sharing a lot of skin and stuff like that. I mean, ads that you don't want to have on your site. But that's just me. I just hate dips and I just hate seeing people taking up these stupid loans. And also, I mean, ads about around gambling. I don't want these on my side. That's just me personally. It's not like it's illegal or anything. It's, and this will not hurt your rankings. It's just a way to think about this. You can actually work actively together with the ad network to make sure that everything on your site works well for everybody and that you feel confident having ads on your site. So if some ads on your site make you feel uneasy, just remove that category altogether. So subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I'll see you guys in the next video.